Mastodon is a free, open-source social media platform that is decentralized and distributed. It was created in 2016 by programmer and entrepreneur Eugene Rochko as an alternative to mainstream platforms like Twitter and Facebook, which have been criticized for their censorship policies, data privacy issues, and centralization of power. Mastodon is based on the concept of federated social media, which means that it is made up of a network of independent servers, or instances, that are all connected and can communicate with one another. Each instance is run by a different person or organization, and has its own rules and policies for content moderation and community standards. This decentralized model allows for greater freedom of expression and privacy, as users can choose an instance that aligns with their values and preferences. One of the main differences between Mastodon and traditional social media platforms is that it uses the ActivityPub protocol, which is an open standard for decentralized social networking. This allows users to interact with one another and share content across different instances, as well as with other platforms that use the same protocol, such as PeerTube a decentralized video sharing platform and PixelFed a decentralized photo sharing platform. Mastodon has a similar interface to Twitter, with a feed of short messages called toots that can be up to 500 characters long and can include text, images, and links. Users can follow other users, create and join groups called hashtags, and boost other people's toots. Mastodon also has a feature called Federated Timeline, which allows users to see toots from people across different instances. One of the main benefits of Mastodon is its emphasis on community and respect. Many instances have strict policies against hate speech, harassment, and other forms of abusive behavior and encourage users to report any incidents that they see. Mastodon also has a system of content warnings, which allows users to mark their tweets with warnings for sensitive or potentially triggering content, giving other users the choice to view or avoid it. Mastodon has seen a surge in popularity in recent years, with a growing number of users and instances joining the network. It has also gained support from various organizations and individuals, including the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which has praised Mastodon for its commitment to free speech and privacy. While Mastodon is not without its challenges, such as the need for more user-friendly features and the difficulty of moderating a decentralized network, it has provided an alternative for those who are looking for a more community-driven and respectful social media experience. Overall, Mastodon is a social media platform that values freedom of expression, privacy, and community, and offers a decentralized and distributed alternative to mainstream platforms. What are Mastodon servers or instances? Mastodon servers, also known as instances, are independent servers that make up the Mastodon network. Each instance is run by a different person or organization and has its own rules and policies for content moderation and community standards. Users can choose to join an instance that aligns with their values and preferences, or they can create their own instance and invite others to join. Instances can be public or private, and they can have different themes or focus on specific topics. For example, some instances are dedicated to specific languages or countries, while others are for specific interests or communities. There are also instances that are specifically for artists, writers, or other creative professionals, as well as instances for activists or advocacy groups. One of the main benefits of the Mastodon instance model is that it allows users to have more control over their social media experience. They can choose an instance that reflects their values and interests, and they can block or mute users from other instances if they wish. This can create a more positive and supportive community environment, as users are able to surround themselves with like-minded individuals. While each instance is independent, they are all connected and can communicate with one another through the ActivityPub protocol, which is an open standard for decentralized social networking. This allows users to interact with one another and share content across different instances, as well as with other platforms that use the same protocol, such as PeerTube and PixelFed. Overall, Mastodon servers or instances are an important part of the Mastodon network as they provide the infrastructure and community support for users to interact with one another and share content. 
You can always find servers using Mastodon's official server portal. If you are a user and want to use the platform to post stuff, follow other users, and engage with the community, you do not need to worry about how it all works. However, it is essential to choose the right community, as every server has different rules, guidelines, and preferences. To help you save time, I recommend some of the best Mastodon servers you can join for a good experience in no particular order of ranking. Fostodon Fostodon is the best Mastodon instance for Linux users and open source enthusiasts. It is not one of the most popular options, but it is good. You can discuss anything you like as long as you follow its code of conduct, the focus is on free and open source software. If you need like-minded users to discuss the same, Fostodon is an excellent option. MSTDN.Social is one of the most exciting Mastodon server instances. The administrator of this instance is super active and welcoming. You can discuss anything here using the language of your choice, whether it is about technology, general stuff, or cute cat pictures. The admin regularly shares pictures of his cats, you might want to give him a follow just for that. MAS.TO is yet another interactive server where you can have fun posting various content. Vivaldi Social If you are not confident about relying on Mastodon servers run by individuals, you might want to opt to use Vivaldi Social. Built by the makers of Vivaldi Browser. It is good to see companies like Vivaldi promoting the adoption of open source and decentralized tech through this instance. Sure, you will find Vivaldi's branding replacing the Mastodon logo and posts by the Vivaldi team promoting their services occasionally, and that's it. You will not find any advertisements. Also, it allows you to discuss anything in general, not restricted to a single language. It features a good number of active users. So, you can always expect things to be engaging and active. You should not have any issues as long as you abide by the server rules. Mastodon.art is a server that caters to all kinds of art illustration, paintings, where the server does not allow NFTs crypto art. This server should be an excellent place to start if you want a feed full of creative stuff. At the time of writing this, Mastodon.art does not accept new signups until the waitlist is cleared. You can check back in some time to try creating an account with them. TechHub.Social aims to cater to users passionate about all technologies. Anyone can join the server if you follow the server rules. You do not have to be a tech geek to join the server, but the primary focus remains technology. Well, Mastodon.lol is for you if you want a server that aims to welcome members of LBGTQ+, hackers, and a similar group of users. Just like a few other servers, Mastodon.lol is overwhelmed by new user registrations. However, the administration plans to reopen the registrations once new moderators have been added to the server. If you liked this video please like, share, and subscribe.